Hey guys, do a dreamer. Um, uh, excuse my voice. I had to have a, a little bit of a sore throat, but I wanted to talk about something real quick <clears throat> that kind of made me laugh. Um, it turns out uh, I think it was like a week ago. Um, Open Winfrey was in with Switzerland and went to this uh, boutique where they sell like handbags and uh, a lot of expensive stuff, like really expensive stuff. And um, she wanted to see a uh, $38,000 crocodile leather Tom Ford handbag. And um, for some odd reason, the, uh, one of the saleswomen refused to show it to her. Um, and the reason why is because she saw the skin color and she said, well, you can't afford this. Oprah Winfrey cannot afford a $38,000 handbag. <laughs> okay, I think this person was living under a rock and she didn't know who this person is. It's Oprah Winfrey, who is one of the richest women <laughs> in the world, worth almost over a billion freaking dollars, owns her own network. <laughs> And she can't own, and she can't afford a crocodile handbag that's worth $38,000. This woman was given a whole, <clears throat> excuse me, this woman was given a whole studio audience free cars. <laughs> and she can't, and she can't afford a $38,000 handbag. <clears throat> it's so funny. But anyway, in all seriousness, it comes to show you that there's still racism. A lot of people want to be oblivious about it. That, you know, oh, racism don't exist. That uh, people are being oversensitive about this. But, yeah, racism still exists. And I guess in Switzerland, it's not uncommon. Because there's some um, groups there that are not for immigration and stuff like that. But, yeah, stereotyping um, racism still exists, you know. And... <clears throat> It's not something that we should ignore, you know what I mean? You have to expect that. Well, not everywhere, but you, it's something to expect, you know what I mean? It, it's not going to go away. I wish it would, but it's one of the things that it's probably not going to go away. There's going to be people out there who has an opinion and who has a hatred towards different races, you know, and religion and, you know, <clears throat> sexual orientation. It's, it's never, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. I mean, is it going to you know you know disappear little by little probably yes but I'm not gonna disappear anytime soon but the aftermath of this is that Oprah Winfrey kind of gave up on talking to this lady and left and do a business elsewhere now business wise not a good idea to refuse certain things to people who want to look at something because you never know who has the money to afford it you know I could say that the person has had experience with people coming in and say, you know, can I check this out? I don't intend to buy just to look at it. Um, both white, Switzerland, and black, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's still not good business sense to do crap like that, you know what I mean? Because people, you never know who you're going to do that to. And you did it to Oprah Winfrey, one of the most famous people in the world. And now people are going to know about that store and you're going to lose a lot of business. They, they, I mean, the people were apologetic. Switzerland were apologetic about it, but I kind of feel that somewhat the damage has been done um, by refusing a famous person to look at a handbag because of the base of their skin color is not a great idea. Not a good business sense. So probably people are gonna know. Oh, that's the place that people that um, refuse uh, people if they don't have enough money um, to buy stuff. Bad business, you know. So anyway, um, what do you guys think about it? Uh, about the whole situation? Do you think um, that Switzerland woman was right? I don't think she's right, but I know there's some people out there who are have an opinion who think that they were that that person was correct for doing what she's doing. Whether from personal um, opinions about race or because of business sense, you know, please leave a comment down below. And do you think Oprah Winfrey was right to just leave and just, you know, take a business out? Anyway, that's all I have to say about it. And take care.